Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Elric and welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. Tech fans, music lovers, welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. Now today, we've got something a little bit different on our tech plate than our usual standard computer type stuff. Like we are a total technology channel. We're not just locked in any vein. And today, we're gonna to be talking about technologies that's involved in the music industry. Now this technology today is called the Babix Full Contact Tunomatic Bridge. I know, some people said out there, it takes some time for my thoughts to reach my brain. You gotta remember something. I don't actually rehearse any of this stuff. I come out and do these videos for you guys raw, every single one of them. So yeah, it does take me some time to gather my thoughts in my brain and take them out my mouth. But today we're gonna be taking a look at something really cool. Like I said, this is the Babix Bridge. You guys are like going, oh, okay, a bridge. Like, uh, what do we do? Well, you don't cross it. It actually has to do with guitar technology now. Right here in front of me, this is my guitar, Midnight. This is a 2013 Les Paul traditional guitar. It has the standard bridge that comes with all Gibson guitars. Sometimes you get one of their Nashvilles, but this one comes with this particular one. And we're gonna be removing this bridge and replacing it with this bridge. And the reason we're gonna be doing that is the Babix bridge makes full contact with the body of the guitar. You're going to, again, well, okay, what the frack does that mean, dude? Like, what does that matter? Okay, so check it out. A lot of times with a lot of guitars, you get your string tone and you get some tonality out of the strings. But picture this. I don't know if any of you people out there have ever had like a subwoofer or speakers and you put it like on a big wooden desk and all of a sudden the entire desk sounds like this huge fracking speaker. The same thing goes into the idea behind the Babix Bridge. It makes full contact with the guitar body, which then makes the entire guitar a resonance chamber for the strings. Much different than any other technology out there, and I believe Jeff Babbitt is the only person that actually has this product out there. Now, I was able to get my hands on two of these products, so uh, thanks to the other Jeff, and thank you very much, sir. Uh, so we've got two of them. We've got a gold one, which I'll be putting on another guitar, and then we have the chrome one, which I'll be putting on this guitar. I actually have another BC Rich, it's a Shadow Pro X Mockingbird. That's the one I'll be sticking on this one, but that's another day. For today, let's talk about this one. So this product comes to market about 128 bucks. If you go out and buy just a normal type bridge, they're like 60 to 70 type dollars, but this one has a lot more features. You can adjust it a lot more, and like I said, the really big thing about it is the full contact to the body of the guitar. So what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna give you samples of me playing this guitar with this bridge, and then we're going to film after the technician comes over with me and we're gonna install the bridge, and then we're gonna play you some more and show you the difference. So with that said, let me jump in, just play a little bit of guitar, a couple simple dimple things, and then we'll compare those to when we change the bridge out to the Babbix full content. So let's do a little rockin'.
So there you go, folks. I mean, we can do a couple little more things with just sustainability. Like while I was doing these type of things, you can really hear how the guitar like comes out. <laughs> I don't know, just for shits and giggles. So that's the guitar playing with the standard bridge installed in it. Now, I'm just gonna play a couple basic notes and stuff so that we can compare them head to head. So this right here is the basic open E. Now you might wonder what I'm doing. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna time how long the note keeps going before it starts to feed back. So right about there, now we'll try another note down here. And then a full, nice little full three chord thing here. So all right, folks, what we're gonna do is we're going to change the bridge out. I'm gonna come back, play that guitar, do some of those matching notes, and we'll see how the tone and everything changes after the bridge is installed. So you guys got all this to go from. I'll play some of the same similar exact stuff and we'll see how it goes. So we'll see you in a minute. It's actually been a few minutes, but check it out. The Babix bridge is installed. A total of about 30 minutes was the total time it actually took. And on a Gibson Les Paul, it couldn't have been any easier. Your bassist had to loosen up the bolts that are on here on your standard bridge, take your old bridge off, pop this thing off, set all the strings off to the side, install the bridge, reattach everything and just do your minor adjustments. Now, this one was pretty accurate. We just had to do a little bit of measuring along up inside here between the strings so we get the perfect you know, depth all the way across, but actually only two of them had to be adjusted. Also, special thanks to my friend and tech, Gary Elder, for coming over and helping out with this event. It was really cool. Now, I must say, now this thing cost about $89 and it looks amazing. I mean, just look at it. It looks totally badass. You have to admit it, don't even lie to yourself. It looks amazing. So, I mean, right off the bat, as far as visual goes, it's amazing. Plus, now that it's made the entire guitar body a resonance chamber, it's really, really bold. You guys heard before some of the stuff I was playing. Now we'll do some more playing and we'll compare some of the actual straight notes and stuff so you guys can hear how the notes resonate and how long it resonates. Like a simple chord.
ballsy stuff just all the way around. I'm just so much impressed with how well this sounds. Now, I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh wow, it's not night and day, but it's not totally night and day, but it is a very nice difference. Everything's really, really warmed up. All the notes resonate very nice. You can hear that they do resonate a lot longer just from the comparisons. Um, like based on this is a straight chord like this before. And you can hear how long the note resonates out. It's a lot longer, a lot wider. You hear the bottom end, the depth, the base of it. Just keeps going off into the distance. But anyways, folks, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with this. I have to say that it's not a very expensive thing. You can get this for about 89 bucks. The link and everything will be down below in the description where you guys wanna check us out. If you guys like this type of video, hey, hit that like button. I know it's something different than our normal technology, but hey, this is technology though. The Babix Bridge is one of the latest, greatest things for guitars. Now, obviously guitars have been around probably since, you know, around what, you know, like Middle England time, they had guitars and type stuff, but still, this is one of the latest, greatest innovations. I give it an editor's choice. For the price that it is, it makes enough of a difference in your guitar to make it well worth the upgrade. Special thanks to Jeff and Jeff over there at Babix for kicking us down these bridges. Totally appreciate it, brothers. Looks good. It sounds good. I'm a happy fracking camper. I'll see you guys a little bit later. I gotta, you know, do a little rock and roll.